Very nice avocados. Yes. Well done. Thank you. Now, did you have uh, beehives in your shamba? Yes. How many? I just started the beekeeping recently, mm. so I started with one. What are you keeping bees for? For honey. Just the honey? Yeah. How about pollination? Well, <laughs> never thought about okay. that. Okay. Do you also have flowers in your shamba? Yes, I have flowers around my house. Did you plant them intentionally? I did, but for beauty. For beauty only. Yeah. Well done, because you're attracting pollinators. Wow. Yes, natural pollinators. They will come and they will pollinate your trees. Yeah. And you'll find that you're getting very good avocados. Wow. Because right now, the avocados are selling. Yeah. Well, the market is good. Yeah. And since the market is good, they are looking for the best product. Yeah. And I do know that if you get a product that has been pollinated naturally by bees, yeah. the, the product is going to be good, don't you think? I think so. Yes, yeah. yes. Let yeah, me show yeah. you a farmer who is doing that. Yeah, okay. And you get to learn more. Okay. We are visiting Duncan at a farm where biodiversity is practiced to help avocado trees grow more and better fruits. Duncan. Yes, Tony. What is biodiversity? It's what surrounds the human being. You like, talk about the animals, the water bodies, talk about the plants, and also the insects. The insects that surround yes, us. That surround us. So when we look around here, are you seeing a good, good example of biodiversity? Indeed. Indeed, as you can see, we have beehives. When talk about pollinators, we have a number of pollinators. We have bees, we have butterflies, and other beneficial insects that help us to pollinate our crops. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about uh, avocados. We are the biggest exporter in the country, yes. and also very nutritive fruits. Yes. Avocado require pollinators for them to produce fruit. So bees are not just good for honey, is it? Yeah, it's not about honey. For them to develop honey, there is the most important thing they do to the ecosystem. Mm -hmm. And this is pollination of the food. Remember, 80% of our crop species depend on pollinators for them to manufacture food. And this is the food now the human being consume. And the food needs to be nutritious. So, so without the pollinators, it means that we have no food as human uh, less. <gasps> and that means really? we're going to extend. No food? No food and we'll, always, we'll, we'll die, all of us. So we shouldn't kill the bees? Yes, we should take care of them. Pollination is important for fruit and seed formation. Pollen is carried by a pollinator such as bees from one flower to another. The fertilized flower later yields fruit and seeds. What do you recommend farmers do to attract the pollinators? So basically when the farmers they are going about their business of farming, they need also to take care of pollinators by planting uh, some clovers, and these are like flowers indigenously found in our ecosystem, just to maintain the population of these pollinators or to give them a habitat to live in. So when they are foraging, they are also doing the pollination part of it for their crops. Wow. And looking at uh, where we are now, you have a water body. You can see the pollinators can access to water. They have flowers to forage. And that mm -hmm. means that uh, they are able just to move um, and pollinate other crops like uh, avocados you were talking about, ah. which is very important. So where these indigenous flowers are, is advisable to put um, some water. Exactly. Can we have a look at an avocado that has been pollinated by the bees and the pollinators to see how they look like? Actually, I'll uh, take you to the field and you'll see an example. Let's go have a look. Good. Wow, Duncan, yes, beautiful, Tony. beautiful avocado trees. Indeed, indeed, as but, you can but, see. Yeah, but let me ask, why are we walking on grass? This is a shamba. Uh, the grass uh, that has been planted in between the avocados is part of that biodiversity. In this case, we are looking at the soils. It's very important to take care of our soils. Talk about soil lotion. So when it lands, you find like most topsoil, uh, it's colored away by the water. So in yes. this case, there will be no soil lotion. Another thing we have to take care of soil microorganism. There are other the small yeah insects found in the soil mm. or organisms found in the soil. The worms, and the all worms, that. all that. There's a lot of activity under here going exactly. on. Exactly, and right. that's what always will make our soil to be 
you know, very uh, rich in yeah. terms of nutrient yes. to take care or to support these kind of avocados that you can see. Wow, and they look good. Look at indeed, that. Look indeed. at that. They are so beautiful. So is this what you are talking about? Exactly. So yeah. when we take care of uh, the soils and we take care of the pollinators, this is the kind of fruit we get. This is a result. These are the results. You can see the quality and the quantity of the fruit yes. per given tree. It's so clean, mm -hmm. so healthy and so big. So biodiversity is everywhere around biodiversity us. Biodiversity is part of us. And if you take care of it, it will take care of us. If you take care of us, indeed. And you're going to get good quality products like, like this what avocado. You can see. Yes. Indeed. Thank you so much, Duncan. Welcome. Pollinators such as bees and birds are important both for plants and humans too. It is up to us to take care of our environment so that we can benefit from it too. 